What's going on, guys? Welcome back again to the Dragon Lair. I'm Derelict Dragon, and today I have a box to open up for you guys. It's pretty big. It is a Gengar EX box. So this guy has a random assortment of packs in it. Um, we got an Evolutions. Uh, looks like we got an X and Y, a Steam Engine, and a Sun and Moon. And then, of course, you get the Gengar cards. And then after that, I have these guys. I have five Darkness of Blaze packs we're going to open up. Okay? So we'll get the uh, the box open first, and we'll start with that. And then we'll get to the packs. All right. So let me get this bad boy open real quick. Jeez. I really need a bigger table for them, this, I swear. Okay, okay. There we go. Uh, put trash down somewhere. There we go. Alright, let's flip this guy open. Oh, wow. I love... And I, I just love these co these big cards. Uh, it's actually... Wow, this one's actually pretty well in there. How am I supposed to get this thing out without bending it? Oh, it just slides at the bottom. Wow, the other boxes, the newer boxes, do not have that feature. That's embarrassing, but there we go. So, as you can see first here, guys, we have the gigantic Jumbo Gengar EX. I know Gengar is a fan favorite with a lot of people. I personally I think he's okay. You know, he's not one of my favorites, but uh, I know he's a fan favorite, but he's still a pretty cool Jumbo card. And if you get that uh, 25 5th anniversary binder... You can actually I'll put them in the background. Uh, you can uh, store jumbo cards, so you guys can take all your jumbo cards and put them in there. Even if you don't get all the first partner packs, you can still fill them up with other jumbo cards. All right. So next we have the packs I'll take out. All right. So here we go. So we have a like I said an X and Y primal clash. A Evolutions, which is a very sought-after pack. I know that. Uh, Steam Siege. I said Steam Engine. That's my bad. And it looks like a Sun and Moon base set. Okay. So we'll get these guys open. But we also have this here. Let me get, see if I can get this out. They really have these things in here good, don't they? Wow. Whoops, there we go. Popped it out. All right. So, like I said, uh, this, if you guys watched my, uh, sorry about that, my uh, mystery pack opening, I said that there would be codes with this one because it's actual Pokemon cards. So there is your code for the Gengar box. All right. And then, of course, you have your regular sized Gengar EX card, which is sweet. Good one to add to the collection. Right, and I'll put him there with his his bigger version. But all right, so here we go. Darkness of Blaze packs and packs on the box. So let's get into it. So this is the uh, Sun and Moon base set. Oh, I, you know what? I cut my nails today. Now it's probably a mistake because I can like really get these packs open. But all right, uh, leading off with a Litten there on the front. But, of course, here is your guys' code card. I'll put that off to the side. And now we can do the card trick But this one. One, two, three, four. Over and down. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we get, shall we? Alright, so we got a Psychic Energy. A Big Mouth Salad. A Hypno. I'll move closer so you guys can see. A Pokeball. The Litten. The Fira. The Paris. Oh, a Lillipup. A Bound Sweet. A reverse Litten, and then, ooh, a hollow Terracina. Looks pretty cool. I do not have that hollow yet, but honestly, I don't have a lot of the Sun and Moon base cards, so any card helps at this point. Okay? So, oops. so we'll put that off to the back. All right. Next is Steam Siege. Uh, you know I'm I'm always was a pack saver back in the day. Like in my binder, I have the, uh, you know, like the first edition Charizard packs and everything from the vintage set base set. 
So I've just had like such a habit of opening packs like this. I'm sorry if it angers any of you guys, but it's just what I'm used to. But uh, we got a green coat card, but here you guys go. Uh, still over there. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's see. Ooh, that's a cool art. Nitto King. Uh, Nitto King is a personal favorite of mine, so that is pretty freaking sweet. All right. So we have a Nuzleaf, a Stealing Spirit Link. Ooh, to evolve a Mega Steelix. Now, I, I love Steelix. It's another personal favorite of mine. Ooh, an Arena, the Litwick, a Meowth, a Ponyta, a Rufflet, a Larvesta, a Reverse Jump Bluff, and that's it. No Hollow Slot? Or did I? And I didn't miss it, did I? No. Or was it the was it the Nidoking King of Hollow? I don't think it was. No, maybe the No King was the rare. Maybe I messed up the card trick. So I know that um, some packs' of card tricks are different, um, but this card feels really thick. I know you guys probably can't see on the camera, but this thing is miscut like crazy. It is such a heavy card <laughs> for some reason, and I know there's not two cards stuck together. But all right, that was weird. All right, so next we have a. Evolutions pack, so hopefully we can get some good out of it. I guess I know you can get the uh, the base set Charizard Hollow and like a reverse Hollow version of it, right? From this, so I hope to get something cool. I love the base set art; it's just so good. Oop, codes backwards. That's interesting. There you guys go. I don't know if the card trick will work for this. I don't know how these older packs function when it comes to card tricks, but... what well, it looks like we have a Beedrill. I think I might have messed it up, but... So, a Beedrill. Charizard Spirit Link. Ooh, that's cool. Love me some Charizard cards. A Chameleon. If this gives me a Charizard, I'll freak out. Like, you'll, you'll hear a chair go flying. Trust me. Poliwag. Diglett. Seal, it ran, a reverse Doduo, that's kind of cool, and that's it, so I actually, you know what, I'm, I'm guessing the Beedrill was the, the rare, I think it's three cards back on these, I guess, so that's my bad, but, so the reverse hollow of the classic art looks pretty cool, fortunately no Charizard, but, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, let's get this last pack open, and then we'll go to the uh, Darkness of Blaze. These packs open so easy. Another reverse code card. Oh, that's a good color on the back. But there you guys go. Uh, I'll do four with this just because I honestly don't know. I'm sorry about that. Well then, um, I'm guessing this is the rare. A Kyogre. Non-hollow, but I love me some Kyogre. Uh, Lumbre. Whoa. Wait, what is up with that Torchic? What, are these cards supposed to look like this? Like, I'm, I, I'm sorry, but like, I'm not uh, too fluent in this Steam Siege. Actually, no, no, this is the EX, isn't it? Yeah, this is the EX, no, X and Y. Why do these, these this card art look so cool? Like, what is this? Like, I've never seen that. That's amazing. I'm sorry I'm taking so long on a regular Torchic, but that, that art is cool. Even this Tentacool has cool art. Like, that's, that's amazing. Lotad, Soul Rock, Drillbur, Nose Pass, Volbeat, and then a Reverse Hollow the Blade, and that was it. Yeah, I messed up the card trick again. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's, that's freaking sweet. I, I l that that Torchic art was amazing. I, I, Torchic was my favorite from the third gen starters, and so that's a pretty cool card in my opinion. But all right, so we got five Darkness of Blaze packs. So let's get to it. Come on, open up for me. There we go. I kind of destroyed that pack, but that's fine. Right, well, I guess why are the codes all backwards on these? There we go. 
I don't know if the card trick doesn't work then. Should I try three? I guess I'll try three. Okay, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I got the card trick down. <laughs> All right, big parasol. Carnivine, the Flaffy. A Cub Chew, Aeron, another favorite Pokemon of mine. Uh, Starly, Purloin, Marley, Reverse Togepex. What is it? <sighs> Ooh, Eternatus V card. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I messed up the card trick, but hey, at least I didn't pull for. Oh, look at that card. Oh, dude, that is amazing right there. So, see, I could shine in the light a little bit so you can see the shine of that card, but wow. Eternatus V. I love Eternatus. It's kind of funny that he's a dragon type, but um, it's still a very cool card. I love it. Alright, awesome. Put that in the back. So these, this is my first opening of Darkness Ablaze. Um, so I have none of these cards. So uh, It's amazing that I got a good pull on the first pack. Alright, there you guys go. Code card. So it is four for this then. One, two, three, four. And we should see the energy card, right? There it is. Alright, so here we go. We have Electric Energy. Ooh, Zoilius. Another dragon. Any dragon cards are friends of mine. Even this card is cool because it involves an Tyranitar. Stararia, another Aaron. Starly, appropriate. Purloin, Marlene, Meltan, a reverse Rickety. And then. Oh! <gasps> no! Way. Oh. No way! Oh, my very first rainbow rare. I mean, it's Rose, but I mean, Rose is kind of a cool guy from Sword and Shield. But oh, my first rainbow rare! Oh, that thing looks amazing. To everybody that has had, I've had a rainbow rare. I know the texture of the card probably is just amazing, but it's so cool. Like, look at that. That is such a cool card. All right, guys. My very first Rainbow Rare pull is a Rose. Full art trainer card. Oh, it's amazing. I definitely going in the back. <laughs> Let's go. A V card and a Rose. And by the way, just so you guys know where I got these packs, I got them from a um, comic book store in town. And he just... When I asked for five of them, he just went back into the box and just grabbed five random packs. So he's he's doing me a favor so far. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. All right, let's get some more. We still got three packs to go. I don't know how well my luck can carry because it's usually not that good. But hopefully we get something, some more, just for you guys so you guys can get some cool content. But, you know, we'll see what happens. This co card for you. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm still freaking out over that rose card in my head, so I apologize. All right, here we go. Okay. Got some good old energy. Oh, my cards are falling. Give me a second here. Oops, no, 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 no. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. So I don't got a lot of space on this table, so got to try and kind of have to organize everything. A Piers, Gothria, a Clang, a Larvesta, a Spinarak. Of it. Love that little squirrel. Rowlet, Centrit, Perverse Old PC, and a regular non hollow rare, Glaring Surfetched. I knew the luck had to run out eventually. <laughs> the fact that I got a Rainbow Rare card. Oh, man. I know, I guess, I guess Rainbow Rare is under gold cards on the rarity scale, right? Yeah. Gold cards are like the hardest to get, right? And then it's Rainbow Rare. And then it's uh, the VMAX cards, which are usually what, this, what they call the secret rares, I think. And then you have all the other rare cards. But we got two more packs to go, guys. I'm sorry this video is taking a little bit longer than it needs to. Uh, just trying to be thorough, trying to take some time. I've gotten some feedback on some of my videos saying that people can't see. So I'm trying my best to uh, slow it down a little bit so everybody can see everything and we can all enjoy the video but okay let's see what we got 
Right, good old fire energy. Powerful colorless energy. That's interesting. Cape of toughness. Corn divine. Kabuchu. Aaron. Starly. Purloin. Marley. Ooh, a reverse electric. It's just cool. And then a regular rare vanilla X. Like I said, luck had to run out eventually. <laughs> but that's still, I'm still amazed by that card right there. That is amazing. My first rainbow rare card ever. Alright, guys, last pack. Let's see if the luck can continue. Maybe not. I think I hit my luck already. But uh, there's the last code card. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I read what that card does to you guys, too, because I, I don't know what it does. I didn't read it, so. A little recap we do, I'll read it for uh, Water Energy, Larion, love that Pokemon. Uh, Dark Drinks, Golet, Lavatar, I also love that Pokemon. Paris, what bundles be that? Art is ridiculous. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Meltan. A reverse Pampor. Oh, that's cute art for that card. And then behind that is a, ooh, a regular rare Lugia. I know you gotta love that Yugia. I love Lugia personally, but that's a cool card, even for a non hollow rare. But, okay, guys, that's all the packs. So let's see what we got. Other than the gigantic Gengar you see there. Uh, we have some other cards that we got today, as you guys just witnessed, and you witnessed history as my very first uh, Rainbow Rare pull. But we have the Hollow Terina, that Eternatus V card, which is freaking amazing. And then we have that good old Gengar EX card that you got with the box, and then the Crown Jewel oh, Rose. Rainbow Rare Full Art Trainer card. And I don't think this card is in freaking amazing shape, too. I don't so Actually, the corners there have a little... I don't know if you guys can see in the light. Just a little bit of, like, nicks there. But the top corners seem fine. The cut of the card seems okay as well. I don't really see a bad centering on that. Um, but this card here, it says, uh, Attach up to two basic energies... Um, from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon VMAX. If you attached any energy cards in this way, discard your hand. Well, that's kind of a uh, kind of risk it for the biscuit kind of move, ain't it? So you'd use this card if you needed energy cards on a VMAX Pokemon to completely win the game or just wipe out your opponent's strongest monster Pokemon. But uh, oh, that's such a cool card. I'm still in awe over this. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for witnessing my first Rainbow Rare poll. Um, I'll try to get more videos uh, soon. I mean, it's kind of hard. You know, I don't have resources to get a lot of cards all the time. Um, you know, because, you know, life, house, car, work, all that fun stuff. Um, but. If you guys watched my other video, I did Pokey Collect uh, Mystery Packs, which was really fun to open. Um, so I'll probably get some more of those. And then uh, I'll do another opening of those because you just get all kinds of cards, you know. And it's, like, like I said, I have a, like a really tiny collection, so it really helps me get cards for a collection. Uh, so I'll get a couple of those and... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one when I acquire those, alright? Thank you all for watching.